Hello, my name is Matteo and this is a tutorial on a module that I wrote for Lullaby.com, the development of Lullaby.com and uh, the module is called Podcast and it will help you generate podcast RSS feeds that work with iTunes seamlessly and it integrates with views and this is because any Drupal site can have any content model. The the way that you structure your content is up to you and that's uh, exactly the point of Drupal. However, the RSS feed format is a known format and it's uh, rather rigid and that's a good thing because uh, then RSS readers can understand the, the feed that you're producing without doing any uh, weird introspection of your data model. So basically what we need is to do some mapping of your content model in your Drupal site to the RSS feed and views is great for that. So let me show you and give you a little bit of an understanding of uh, how we use this in the lullabot.com uh, website. And uh, you can see that we have a section called podcasts and that means that uh, we have several podcasts in, inside of Lullabot. Uh, we have, uh, have the, the Drupalize Me or Lullabot podcasts, the insert content here, uh, the hacking culture and the behind screens and we also have uh, some retired shows there so uh, in our content model we have several shows and shows have episodes etc uh, your uh, actual content model may vary and you may have an implicit show because you only have one show and that's okay that will uh, only change the way you create your view. So basically uh, what you need to do is you go to be views, add a new view and you can either do create directly and sorry about uh, this is my local development site. Uh, you can create a view directly uh, and be something like podcast uh, RSS feed. So we create a different name and we create uh, from the episode, right? And yeah, um, you can create a page if you want. Uh, so it lists all the episodes and attach the RSS feed to it. So it shows like the RSS button there. Uh, I don't know if, if, I don't think we're doing this uh, right here, but it's uh, what it's called a, a page attachment uh, that browsers can detect it, etc. Uh, maybe browsers don't detect that anymore. But <clears throat> but you can add this as an attachment, uh, create a page, and then add it as an attachment, or you can create the feed directly and choose the the structure that you want. So basically, here what I'm saying is uh, create my episode uh, listing. Uh, it's a uh, just a very basic feel, uh, very basic views, and the podcast module will add a, a row style, sorry, a view style and a row field plugin uh, that will just allow you to uh, map everything. So uh, if we go here in the source code, you'll see that there is a, a row and a style plugin uh, that are provided by by this module. So in here, you will have to choose inside a format. Uh, you will need to choose the, the feed, but before you do that, since we are altering the display, we want to add a new, whoops, a new feed display. And in here, once that is done, all right, you need to select the format to be podcast RSS feed. This is provided by the podcast module. Um, and what this will do is it will give you all of these options which will uh, then map to the different properties inside of an, a podcast RSS. And basically you just create fields as you would normally do it for, uh, for your view. I'm going to just make sure I can submit this by uh, by providing content to to anything that asks for content because we also need to go into show and then select podcast fields 
so uh, what this will these two will do and don't worry uh, if you don't know what I'm doing right now because I'm gonna just go back in a sec I just want to be able to close this Ugh. that's right all right now this feed doesn't make any sense uh, but what you need to do now is you need to set a path something like I don't know um, maybe my my podcast feed.xml or something like that right uh, I'm not gonna set it um, and then you will add fields here uh, to pull all of the information that you want to show in your feed and uh, you may need to look online what iTunes needs uh, in their fields like what is the format of the data because this module what allows you is to go and all of the properties that uh, a podcast feed needs are mapped to fields that are in the view so right now I only have available one field so that's what it shows here but I, I may need to go into my episode body field and then add it to the view and it will be available for here for the drop down so add all the fields then come here and do all the mappings at the uh, creation date in the format that an RSS feed needs and uh, again find that elsewhere in the common RSS documentation because as I said the that is a known and rather rigid format and um, yeah the um, this module does not define that format so that's purposely defined elsewhere so yeah uh, populate anything that you want here uh, maybe the author and if the if this is a, an explicit or a clean podcast etc so in here you will have two sections of mappings one that is only at the podcast level so it will be added once at the top of the xml and these are all the fields that apply to the podcast in in here in the in the format section uh, this is called the channel and then the items or the episodes uh, apply to each of the um, each of the iterations on the podcast meaning that anything like an episode or whatever you call it uh, that carries an, a video or uh, an audio or a video file and uh, and this will have the, the mappings for those so uh, the title here will be the title of the episode if we go back here uh, it would be something like this is the title this is for the episode and this is for the podcast right so this is the description of the podcast uh, these are the hosts of the of the podcast and then in each of the episodes you would have um, additional metadata like uh, the description oops sorry that loaded under me uh, the description etc so you map everything there and uh, views will do the rest and that's pretty much everything you need to do um, I would say it's uh, pretty easy, but this is still in early uh, development. There may be some bugs that uh, you or we discover along the way. So please feel free to open issues and send patches. That's it. Tada.